Hi everyone and welcome back to this series in Interactive Focus. So if you have been following me in this series for quite a while now, we've been covering a lot of different topics in Interactive Brokers, like for example, how to open an account, how to fund your account, and how to open options trading permission, and also how to do covered call in Interactive Brokers. So today in this video, specifically we're going to look at options trading because for quite some time now with Interactive Brokers, I've been using their app their mobile app here to trade options. It has been quite a steep learning curve, learning how to go through the app and how to buy and sell options and how to close the position and how to roll the position. So in today's video, we're going to walk through on the Interactive Brokers mobile app and in option trading, we're going to look at how to buy call and put options and then how to close the position and then how to roll the position. And before we continue to the next part in this tutorial, if you want to sign up for an Interactive Brokers account, you can use my referral link below in the description. So with all that being said, now let's dive into the tutorial. So here you will see the Interactive Brokers app. Now we are in the Portfolio tab. So I'm going to search for a stock and the stock that we're going to use in this tutorial video is NVIDIA. So when you search for NVIDIA, you'll drop down these few options. You can go to search on their stock, options, CFD, option chain and strategy builder, and option wizard so since we want to go into options we're going to go to option chain and strategy builder then you'll be brought to the option chain so when i first discovered options and then in interactive brokers and then when i saw all these numbers and charts and figures i had to put one and two together and then see how to navigate the app so having learned some of these things i'm sharing with you today so back to the option chain so on the top here we see like the vwap options volume what's the last IV interest volume and then what was the volume in percentage for the IV over the history and then also we have like the 52 weeks IV rank and then below we have the dates so currently today the recording is on 22 March 2024 because we see here zero days so when it comes to buying options there are some options where you can buy on a daily basis there are some options you can only do weekly so as we see here we can only do weekly options so that 22 march which is zero days today then the next week is 28 march six days away and then 5th of april 14 days away and then so forth a few weeks later and few months down the road until you can buy options at the end of the year or until next year as well so for today in this video we're going to focus on 22 march 2024 option then below the date we have here we see here calls strike and then put so if you only want to see the call option or you only want to see the put option you can click this three gear button next to the date to change the categories after you pick your date now we move on down to the next column we have here the call strike price and puts column so currently nvidia is trading at about 940 dollars we're going to buy a call contract so looking at the call column that's the strike price then any price that is above 940 dollars like 945 or 950 dollars or 960 dollars the call contract is out of the money then any strike price that is below 940 dollars in this case for nvidia let's say the strike price is 930 or 920 dollars the strike price is in the money so for interactive brokers for any call option that's in the money it is in the light shaded blue area then for any call option that is out of the money it is in the white color area for puts contract it is the reverse so looking again at the nvidia here 940 dollars strike price currently any price that is out of the money that means the strike price for put contract whether 930 dollars or 920 dollars it is in the white color area then for any strike price that is in the money that means the strike price for put contract is 950 or 960 dollars it is in the light blue shaded area so now i'm going to show you how to buy a call option or in other words it is a long call option so here we're going to scroll down all the way to a one thousand dollar strike price and bear in mind this is a zero dte zero days to expiry and a one thousand dollar strike price that's the bid and ask price and also the last price so the bid price for one thousand dollars contract is four cents ask price is five cents and last price is four cents so that means currently there are people bidding to buy this contract at four cents there are also people asking to sell this contract to us at five cents but then the last price that was transacted was at four cents and for options trading 
what you need to bear in mind is that one options contract is equivalent to 100 shares. So that means this one contract here, let's say it's selling to us or we are buying at 5 cents, it will cost us $5 because 5 cents times 100 is $5. And when you want to buy a call contract in the Interactive Brokers mobile app, tap the Ask column where you will be shaded in dark blue. If you tap the bid column, that means you want to sell a call contract, you will be in red color. In this video here, we want to focus on buying a call option. So here, after tapping the $1,000 strike price, we see here below, we are buying one March 22, 2024, $1,000 call, and the break even is $1,000.05. Because our strike price is $1,000, and the cost for our call contract is $0.05, cents, so the break even is $1,000.05. And then we see here the blue button order of $0.05. Cents. So that means $0.05, cents or after all the calculation, for one contract is $5, $5 will be deducted from our account. So here's the detailed information about buying a $1,000 strike price call contract. So on the top here, we see what the volume for the ask price at $0.05 cents and also the bid volume at $0.04. Cents. That means how many people are asking to sell to us this contract at $0.05 cents, and also how many people are bidding to buy this contract, $1,000 contract strike price at $0.04. Cents. Then we see some more performance profile information. So this contract will cost us maximum of $5. Then that's the break even as I mentioned earlier. And then for the max return, the profit, it is infinity according to the analysis and calculation by interactive brokers. Then we scroll down to the bottom below. Here we can set the quantity. That means how many call contracts that we want to buy. In this case here, I'm going to buy one call contract. You can buy more than one call contract. You can buy one, two, three, four, five or even 100 contracts. You can't buy the contract in fraction. You can't do fraction share trading in options trading. Then you can set the order type. That means you want to set the order to be limit order or market order. And then the limit price, because the order type now is in limit order type. So the limit price now is at 5 cents. I can change it accordingly to buy this contract at the ask price of 6 cents or to bid at 5 cents. That means to wait for the price to drop to 5 cents. And then that's when my order will be executed. And then that's when my contract will be bought. And then you can also attach additional orders like stop loss and profit taker. So that means let's say you want to minimize your losses, you can set a stop loss. And let's say the current price is at six cents, but you set the stop loss at five cents. So if the contract price drops to five cents, that's when interactive brokers, given the order that you set in your stop loss, the contract will be sold automatically at five cents in this example. Then for profit taker, if you want to cap your profit, so for example here it's at $1.06, if the price reaches $1.06, that's when interactive brokers, based on the price that you set, they will execute the trade and sell the options contract for you. So you don't always have to be on your screen, whether on the desktop or looking at your mobile phone here, wondering when to sell, to stop loss or to take profit. You can set all this ahead of time in interactive brokers mobile so that this gives you peace of mind. And you can do this at your own convenience and time as well. Then you can preview your order information. So if you click the preview button below, you can see the amount, that means how much this contract will cost, and then also the commission or the fees. So the total for this contract will be $7.05. And then how this contract or this purchase will affect your equities without loan and initial margin and maintenance margin. This initial and maintenance margin is because I'm currently on a margin account. If you're on a cash account, you won't see this information in your preview here. So that's for buying a call option. Now we're going to look at how to buy a put option. So back in the options chain, we're going to buy a put option contract that is out of the money and that strike price will be $900. So at $900, currently the ask price is $0.19 cents, and the bid price is $0.18 cents, and the last price was at $0.19. Cents. So as mentioned earlier, to buy a put contract, tap in the ask column. So the color will be in dark blue. If you type in the bid column, it will be in red color. That means you want to sell a put contract. In this video, we want to buy a put option. And we are going long, we are not going short. So like earlier in the call option, on the top here also we see what the ask and bid price and volume. And then next below, we can see what the max loss. For this contract, the max loss will be $18 because one contract is 18 cents. And then we see here the break even. So the break even is lower than the $900 strike price. Because it's $900 minus our cost for the contract, 
which is $18. So that gives us a break even of $899.81. And then you see here the max return. Unlike the call contract that we saw earlier, here the max return is about $89,000. Then we scroll down below. We can also set the quantity, order type, limit price, and time in force. Time in force, we can set the order to be executed during the day, during the trading day, or until good deal cancelled. That means until a certain set date. Then like the call option, we can also set a stop loss and take profit for our put option. So that's briefly it about buying a call or put option in the options chain. I'm not going to buy any call or put option because I've already bought some call options earlier. So I'm going to show you now in the portfolio tab. So we see here I've already bought some Nvidia call options. So on the left column, the most left column, we see here for example, March 28, 2024, 990 call. That means this contract, this 990 call options contract is set to expire on 28 March 2024. So maybe now NVIDIA is trading at $940. I'm expecting and projecting NVIDIA to reach $990 by 28 March 2024. So now that you have bought your call or put option, there are three things that you can do with your call or put option that you bought. Number one, you can let it wait until expiry. Number two, you can close the position before expiry. Or number three, you can roll the position before expiry. So now I'm going to show you what you can do with your call or put option. So now we're going to go back to the interactive brokers app, the mobile app. So we're going to look here, and video call option that's set to expire on April 12, 2024. And this call option is $975. And the cost basis for this call option is $93. So today is April 8. And if I choose to let it expire on the 12th of April, then there are two things that can happen. Number one, if the price of NVIDIA goes up above $975, that's when the call option is in the money. And by contract terms, I have to buy 100 NVIDIA shares at $975. So that's a lot of money. But if NVIDIA's price on 12th of April is below $975, the call option is worthless and set to expire worthless. So that's the risk and opportunity cost when it comes to letting your call option expire until expiry. But then there are two things that you also can do before expiry. I can close the position to minimize my losses or to capture any gains and profits made before expiry. And then I don't have to buy 100 shares of Nvidia at $975. Or I can roll the position to a lower price below $975 on job for April or I can roll it to a future date at a higher strike price or lower strike price but then the cost for rolling the position will increase and cost more so I'm going to show you how so here I'm going to tap my call option and then here we see the close position exercise or lapse and roll position so now I'm going to show you first how to close the position for this call option so you'll be brought to your order page which is sell order and then key in the quantity that you want to sell so since I own one quantity or one position of this call option, I'm going to key in one and then the order type. I'm going to set the limit. You can set it to market order or other type of order. And then the limit price here, set the limit price that you want to sell your call position. And then you can set your time in force whether to sell the position during the trading day or until a certain date with good deal cancelled. And then once you are satisfied with your order here, slide the slide to sell slider. So now I'm going to show you how to roll the position so for interactive brokers when it comes to rolling the position you can only do it on the mobile app or the ipad app you can't do it on your desktop so here we're going to tap roll position and then we'll be brought to the options chain so i'm going to move back to the original expiry date of 12 april and then to show you how to roll your position i'm going to choose the strike price of 882 dollars and 50 cents so here the bid price is 17 dollars and 5 cents and then the ask price for this call option to roll to is $17.60. So you can choose any other date and any other price to roll your position. But here in this video, I'm going to choose this strike price and this date again. So anyway, tap roll position. Then you'll be brought to your order page. So here, put in the quantity that you want to roll, your order type, and then the limit price. And then slide, slide to buy slider. But in this video, I'm not going to close my position and even roll my position but now i'm going to show you how to do for your put option so like the call option there are three things you can do you can wait until expiry you can close the position before expiry or you can roll the position before expiry so looking back here at my portfolio here we have 12 april 2024 
$800 put NVIDIA and the cost to acquire this put contract is $221.70 so if you choose not to do anything and wait for your put option to expire on expiry date then there are also two things that can happen number one if the price of NVIDIA is below $800 so that means the put option contract is in the money but if the price of NVIDIA is above $800 let's say $900 or $1,000 that means the put option is worthless and set to expire worthless so that's the risk of waiting until expiry but then there are also two things that I can do before expiry and again today is 8 April I can choose to close the position or to roll the position to minimize my losses or to capture any profit and gains again or to roll the position to a later date or a higher or lower strike price so now to close or roll the position tap it tap the put contract and then tap the close position button and then scroll down and then put in the quantity order type limit price and then the time in force to execute the order and then when you are satisfied with your order here slide the slide to sell slider again for this video it's just for demonstration purpose i'm not going to sell this put option now to roll the position tap the roll position button and then here in the option chain to show you i'm maybe now going to buy and roll it to 880 strike price for the put option and the bid here is 17 dollars and 40 cents and the ask price is 17 dollars and 90 cents so type the roll position button so again put in your quantity order type and then the limit price and the time in force so let's say you want your put option contract the rolling to be higher in the order queue and higher chance of being fulfilled as soon as possible try to put the limit price as close to the ask price so we know that the limit price was $17.90 so for this example here I'm going to put $18 and then we can slide the slide to buy slider to roll this put option contract but this is just for video illustration purpose I'm not going to roll and even close this position so that's it on options trading I hope you gain some insight and learn how to buy call options and put options and then also how to close the position and then also how to roll the position all this with the interactive brokers mobile app so if you like what you learned in today's video hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel below to stay tuned for more videos like this in investing in interactive brokers and in real estate finance and home and living products and with that thanks for watching and see you in the next video